Well, good morning. It is a, again, a windy day and we're here in the Panama City Beach, Destin, Florida area. We just parked the trailer. You know, the sun's already up, but the sun rises an hour earlier than it does in Tampa Bay. So we didn't get out, you know, before the sun, but we are not missing the current. The current's moving. It's starting to move about right now. Um, and it's gonna pretty much go from like seven o'clock to about noon. So we at least hit that. But it is a beautiful day, even though it's windy. So we're gonna launch these kayaks and we're gonna fish some new waters we've never fished before. So right now we're kind of just jetting off from the launch and we are passing some of this stuff up right here. The current is moving in. So it's an incoming tide uh, right now. So we're gonna go to this point. We're gonna, um, you know, take a ride at the point and then pretty much just start, start fishing. So we saw this local guy um, who was at the ramp and I guess he like recently moved here. He's been fishing. He was like with his little son and um, we saw a dead carp at the ramp. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what kind of sign that is, but he said he's caught redfish just sitting at the dock and things. So I don't know. Looks like, looks like a good spot to me. I don't know this area. I was talking to my wife about this before I left the house and it's like right now, because we're new to fishing this area, um, we could be fishing an area that is like totally overlooked by the locals because i bet you it's just like a popular area that everyone goes to but when you're from a different state or a different um city or something you kind of see things with fresh eyes and um it's almost like this it's almost like when i'm in tampa bay and i hear people are visiting tampa bay and they just immediately go to Fort DeSoto. i'm like of course of course you would go to Fort DeSoto. that's not to say you won't catch fish it's just like that seems like something that you would probably do. But I would overlook some parts of Fort DeSoto. I mean, I do fish there a good amount of time still, but there are just some times where I totally just not go there because um, it might be overfished or a lot of people go there or it's kind of traffic or whatever the case is. And just going to a new place with fresh eyes, you have no idea what the locals think about this place. They might think it sucks, but when you go in there with a fresh mind and you know maybe a different way you fish or something that spot that people might think is trash or they just don't go there anymore because it's overfished or something might turn out to be a pretty good spot for you so that's kind of the position we're in this morning um, i've kind of wanted to come up and fish the navarre pensacola destin area um, more more and so um this is kind of the start of of doing that so hopefully today's a good day it's windy but hey that never stops us so let's get it Coming right at me. Finally got a little hook up. <sighs> hey, there we go. Oh, it was a nice trout. <laughs> he came off. Oh man, that'd have been nice. But we might as well go ahead and try to spend a few moments right here in this area. Oh, that's not good.
so here's the update it has been an absolute grind um <laughs> man it is it's tough fishing today uh story of my life it's windy um we're we're just grinding it out though i mean jose so okay jose earlier um hooked up with the red lost it and then caught another red um i think it was like 18 inches um good red first red of the trip and i am covering so much ground i'm going in the creeks out of the creeks the mouths of the creeks on the flats on the beaches trying to find a fish um i hooked up with a trout lost it at the boat um i don't think it was really hooked on the on the paddle tail on that weedless very well to be honest with you so i lost that trout but you just got to keep going perseverance we're gonna put out this video no matter what even if we get skunked but hopefully it doesn't come to that hopefully you know we can just push through this i had some lunch i had something to eat i'm about to stretch my legs because i'm exhausted i've gone super far from the launch and i know i have to go all the way back um but we're gonna keep casting we just gotta keep pushing and hopefully get a fish come here come here you must get caught <laughs> there we go Whew. okay at least I caught a red. <laughs> He's not the biggest, but I'm grateful. I am grateful. We'll take him. So we got a little red right there. He's not huge, but he's the first one. Got him on the five inch right there, the Slam Shady. Beautiful red. Definitely a different type of fishing over here in this area of Florida. So we're gonna get ready, let this guy go, get him in the water. Then we're going to unleash him here. And before I release him, he's got like this gash here. Almost like he's been bit by by something. So, all right, bud, I hope you make it. You know you can catch bass here too? Yeah. Oh, man, there's like a... Dude, I've been fishing everywhere. No, no red. I'm still trying to figure out this area. It's like shallow, deep, shallow. Oh, <laughs> oh. almost had one. Hey. Hey, what's up, babe? I'm just sitting around lunch with all the girls. All the girls? Yeah. It's been tough fishing, man. Really? Yeah, but I just caught one red. He was small. So I just oh. keep keep grinding it out. Yeah, how do you feel? Is it cold, hot? Now I'm hot. Yeah. So. Oh, man. All right, well, I'll talk to you later then. I'll call you. Yeah, I'll call you later. I love you. Love you, bye. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Got the small rod out right now, so it seems bigger than it is, but it's okay. <sighs> Woo! There we go. Another red. <sighs> Let's go. We found him, Jose. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this fish. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, hey, hey, where are you going? How did you know how to get out of there? Like the strongest little redfish I've ever, ever caught. Oh my goodness. Okay. There we go. Okay, you're so strong, man. Jeez. There we go. Beautiful 21 inch red. Thank you so much. Blessed. All right, so we've got this thick grass over here. And I've taken all the weights off except just the regular weight on this weedless hook right here. And we're just gonna do some tossing on this grass. So 
a little bit ago I tossed up on this grass over here that was a silly cast I thought I was just hooked on grass turns out it was a fish um, <laughs> and I reeled all the way to the boat thinking I was just stuck on grass and then the fish got off so just trying to fish this structure a little bit chilling on top of the grass Here we go. Oh! Oh no! Stuck under the kayak. <laughs> hey, a bass! Let's go! <laughs> That's awesome. I thought there'd be one chilling in this grass over here. Well, this was cool. I don't catch these very often anymore. Um, used to catch these a lot with my kid and the lake behind our house, but we don't have a lake behind our house anymore. And I got to catch one right here in this grass. And I'm really not a freshwater fisherman. It's just really cool when I get to pull one of these largemouth bass out of the water. Pretty sweet. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. That's awesome. That's a bigger one. Look at that largemouth bass. Tore it up. Hey. What's up, bud? That's pretty sweet. So check this out, guys. Got a pretty largemouth bass right here. It's a good size. I think it's a good size. I mean, I don't, I don't fish for bass very often, but man, this, this guy smoked it. So I'm going to kind of hang him out in the water for a second, get a measurement on him. All right, let's see here. Relax. 16 and a half. Uh, 16 and a half inch bass. Well, as far as bass go, for me, that's a pretty decent size. Man, it's been a beautiful day out here. It's been windy, but we're kind of tucked back here in the weeds and just kind of hidden from all that wind. So we're gonna keep on fishing, man, and probably put in like another hour or two, head back to the launch because we still gotta head to Publix and um, figure out what we're doing for dinner. We definitely caught some reds that we could have eaten, but um, the two reds that I caught, uh, they both had like this, like a bite mark in it. It almost looked, I don't know, man. It just, it looked a little infected. So I didn't want to keep it and I didn't want to eat it. Now, if I get one, you know me, I'll eat fish. So if I get one that looks, you know, like normal, like we normally get, he's definitely going on the grill. So we're going to keep on fishing and get this bass ready to go. <laughs> so I want to go ahead and recap this trip. I mean, it has been, I would say a pretty good day. I mean, it's not the most phenomenal day I've had ever on the water i i personally caught uh two redfish i missed a few redfish i missed a, i had a trout lost at the boat caught a small largemouth bass and then a decent sized largemouth bass um so of course this is brackish water as the water is coming out of the rivers and meeting with the salt water um so i launched at point washington that's not um even though I'm, I'm not local to here that that launch is no secret i mean there's you can look on youtube there's a lot of people who launch there um 
the thing is, is that to me personally, it's not about spots, you know, like where is that spot you fished? Because I see, you know, a lot of people who go to, you know, spots that have been blasted and said is the best spot ever and, and don't catch anything. And I think what it has to do with is fishing the conditions. So let's talk about the conditions for today. All right, so today was pretty windy. Um, right now I'm a little bit protected, but if I were to cut on that side, it's gonna be super windy. Uh, so windy day, uh, we fished the incoming and on, and outgoing, but we're gonna miss the second incoming. So the way the tide is here is it's like morning, afternoon, doesn't go all the way down, but it's like afternoon and then again, uh, tide, tide comes in some more. All right, so fish the incoming tide pretty much for the most part. I had to do some figuring out, you know, cause there's so much to do out here if you're fishing um, this area. So you can fish the creeks, you can fish the main river, you could fish the flats, you could fish the beach, you could fish the uh, pilings, you could fish the bridge if you want to. I mean, we there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, I my game plan was to just find this grass. <laughs> I mean, I love I love fishing this grass. It reminds me of the marsh, and so Louisiana fishing, Alabama fishing. So. I, I kind of just go to that. Um, Jose had a different game plan than me. He kind of fished the mouths and he hooked up with two reds. He lost a really, really nice red um, at the kayak. And so, but he did land uh, a red. So he got a red himself, but he was kind of fishing the mouths of the creeks on incoming tide. And this looks like a bib <laughs> and uh, on incoming tide and fishing those holes. So as bait is running over and coming down. So he's kind of doing that thing. Um, I did a little bit of that, but wasn't it wasn't really working out for me. So I kind of resorted back to what I knew and I started fishing the lines and things like that. So there's a lot to do out here, a lot to explore. So it's not about the spot, but I did launch at Point Washington. It's all about how you fish the conditions out here. And this is my first time out here. So I'm learning this area and how to fish it. I'll probably come back out here because I really do like all the different types of structure that this place has to offer. Um, so I'll find my way back out here again. Tomorrow, we're going to fish somewhere different. And I believe we're going to be meeting up with Scott Candy. So it'll be me, Scott, Jose out here. But we're about to fish our way back. Not, It probably won't be too eventful. Um, but if I do end up catching something, I'll add it to the end of this video. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. And here's to the next one. We'll be fishing closer to Destin. We're kind of more in Panama City area right now. But uh, we'll be doing that tomorrow. So I'll catch you on the next one.